Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a voiceover for my bowel and shower uh, routine and I'll be talking you through what I do for, for those and some of the products that I use as well. So in the morning when I roll over, usually I'm pretty spastic uh, just from laying on my side, uh, usually at night and I keep my legs bent so they like to stretch out for a minute. I sped the video up a little bit for time sensitivity. And as you can see, I use a leg bag with a condom catheter. And I also use a product called Eurofoam. It's a double-sided, they also make single-sided, but I, I use the double-sided adhesive. And it's uh, definitely a great product and it helps uh, without stop leaking. If you guys have any questions or comments, you're welcome to leave it in the comment section below. Those comments really help with the algorithm and all that good stuff. Usually the first thing I do in the morning is I take the, the leg bag off and I go right into using a straight cath and it comes with uh, everything you need. Sterile gloves, sterile under pad, um, the Benadine swabs and all that stuff. And I also use something called Paws. It's an antimicrobial wipe. It's actually for your hands, but um, it's like what you would use for before you take like a urine sample. Um, any bit of bacteria I can clean off before, you know, you don't want to shove that inside your bladder. So any little bit I can do to help avoid UTIs, I try. go right into a straight cast just like anybody the morning your bladder is going to be at the most full so that's definitely got to be the first thing I do Sometimes I'll even press on the bladder to make sure I got everything out. And then they go into the bathroom and clean up the leg bag, empty it out. Give it a good rinse with hot water. Now you also use uh, vinegar and rinse it out. I try to keep those bags, you know, I use it a few times and I pitch them, but to get a few uses out of them, you definitely got to clean them up pretty good. And then we just hang them to dry. Go grab the Hoyer. And I actually use a shower sling uh, in the shower and I have a different type of sling to do uh, just a transfer into my wheelchair. 
And then I grab all the things for a colostomy change. And I start by tucking the under pad underneath. Keep the bed from getting wet. I find it easier to do my colostomy change in bed rather than in my chair. And that way it saves my butt from hurting also. Try to avoid pressure injuries any way I can. I tape the pad to my skin just below the wafer. That water bottle does not like to stand up. dry when I do the new appliance. You always want to make sure it's extra, extra dry. And then I discovered this spray. It's adhesive remover spray. I think it's made by Adapt. Um, this stuff works phenomenal. Just a little spritz behind it and it dribbles down behind the waxy part and it just kind of like melts off. It's amazing. Take an adhesive remover wipe. I go around all my skin just to make sure I get all the residue off, the sticky residue. Then I take just a wet paper towel try to get some of that greasy residue off from the spray. It may seem like a little overkill, but I just like to make sure my, my new appliance sticks good. So I wet the rag and I use the body wash. I use the Dial Spring Water Scented. Dial seems to work the best and seems to leave it the most dry. I actually use um, really soft like baby uh, rags. It's like a microfiber. Actually, it's really soft. It's so much gentler around the stoma area. I actually wash and rinse twice. dab with a dry paper towel. I take the blow dryer on warm from a distance to make sure I don't burn myself. And these Convitec moldable wafers are amazing because you can make them just a hair above the size of the stoma and actually like shrinks back down to the stoma size and it makes a nice snug seal so you don't get any leakage. I used to cut the wafer to the size I wanted but I would have a gap around it so I started doing this and it's, it's worked out great. Then I apply my bag.
gonna use the blow dryer on high heat again just to make sure when I when you do heat it makes the appliance stick better just gotta be careful you don't burn yourself and then what I do is I grab my shavers and actually shave my pubic area because like I said I anchor my leg bag um, with medical tape which I call wiener tape and if if there's hair down there that's that's not fun so I always make sure every shower I, I give it a nice shave make sure you know nice and clean down there and you guys don't want to see that part so we'll jump to the next part now time to jump in the shower and I grab my shower sling and I tuck it behind me I make sure it is shoulders to the knees and it's got the commode hole which I don't really use the commode hole anymore for bowel routine but I do a rectal clean out like once a month even though there's nothing there there's still mucus that builds up over time and you got to make sure that's cleared out or else they have to surgically remove it and that doesn't sound fun And I always try to make sure I'm centered on the sling. Then I bring the Hoyer over. I love my Flexibed because there's a nice gap underneath so where the Hoyer can slide right underneath it. And I love my color-coded uh, shower sling because the top I go blue sky at the top, green grass down below. Then I tuck the pillow between my legs. Cover my chunk the best I can. Make sure to lock the Hoyer, and then I bring the shower chair underneath. As you can see, I'm kind of holding my wrist up because it gets a little sore um, as it drops a little bit. But it's coming back. It's getting better slowly, slowly but surely. The therapist thinks it's going to take a little bit of time. She said about an inch a month working down into my radial nerve. But at the time of the video, I didn't really have much, uh, much independence with my left. So I have to shave and or have my helper shave and brush my teeth and things till for now. I can do it now. And then what I do is I take press and seal and I cover my, my uh, colostomy bag. That way it doesn't stay wet all day and I don't have to worry about blow drying it after. So I just do the best I can and cover it with uh, tape and press and seal. Seems to work okay.
And I got to the point where I can wash my own face. And just that little bit of independence helps. I still need a little bit of assistance reaching to my forehead at the moment, but. And then after I take the press and seal off, I use uh, the same paws, my antimicrobial wipe, to wipe all around it and just make sure my, uh, my skin is nice and clean. It helps with any sticky residue as well. And then back up into the Hoyer.
Now where's the leg bag in between intermittent cathing? So I have the leg bag, the condom catheter, the Eurofoam. So I'll show you, I used the leg bag, the condom catheter, the cream, the wiener tape, and the Eurofoam. And I wear that in between helpers coming and going and overnight. What I do is I run the leg bag down my inner thigh, make sure there's a little bit of slack, and I pull to the edge of the bed. And whether I'm doing a pivot transfer or um, the sling transfer, either way, but this time I'm doing a pivot transfer. I just make sure my body's a little bit angled. Then I pull my chair up. And what I do is I try to make sure my chair is in line with my hips. That way it's a straight shot right into the chair and there's no gap. And then I tuck my feet up between their legs left over right then they sit me up to them using my wrists I kind of underhook I grab the backs of my pants and do like a bump halfway then a bump into the chair and hopefully pretty soon I'll be transferring myself so that's goals
make sure my hips are straight just that little bit without any trunk control it makes you feel like you're off balance bag is not twisted any sort of twist or kinks it'll create a bad day I love that I can actually straighten out my arm now. Hopefully pretty soon we'll do the left one, or my right one, sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode of Naked in the Shower. I appreciate you guys watching always. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thank you, those pants are really bothering me. And that's my morning shower routine.